Mary C's boys cargo shorts. <laughs> and sorority girls are taking graduation photos on the steps. <laughs> Unlike swamp ass, sorority girls are not in C's boys pants. <laughs> wrong with dong guzzling. <laughs> In fact, it's a relief to hear that Columbia students are using their big mouths for something other than a self-righteous rant. In the video, one Delta Sig boy says, fuck GG. <laughs> <laughs> because, again, nothing screams, I'm totally not into Socratic gay boy love, like, like paying money to hang out with other men for four years, and then bra bragging loudly and totally not self-consciously to them about how many girls you fuck. <laughs> and yet, somehow, immediately after this, Theta landed a New York Times article about how feminist it is. <laughs> sororities. <laughs> After all, the article explained, sororities are now just a feminist breeding ground. By that logic, Barnard is the largest sorority on campus. <laughs> Expect. 
claiming that the sisterhood that you pay 400 a semester for is fake is like claiming there might be puke in the Carmen elevators during NSOP. <laughs> who tags you in ugly candid photos is a sister who screenshots your ugly candid photos and tips them to blog. <laughs> Still, we have to ask, how the frick frack were any of these things scandalous? <laughs> the fact that sororities drink booze, flash ass, and can't stand each other isn't new. <laughs> but sorority, sorority hijinks are so common that we somehow care less about them than we do about whatever the fuck apartheid divested this semester. <laughs> will be able to admit what they're really all about. Giving Ivy League nerds the opportunity to pretend that they're hot. <laughs> In honor of sisterhood, the band now forms a big old bottle of booze and plays I'll Make a Sorority Woman Out of You.